Great, thanks. And can I ask one more quick question? Sure. So uh, for going to large models, um, would it be then appropriate, like, um, I don't know if vCell has a functionality to run it non-locally uh, through command line? Oh, yeah. Um, well, not through command line. Actually, all of our models, I forgot to tell you this, so I'm glad you reminded me. So all of our models so, can run either locally or most commonly, we have you run them on our servers, right? So um, not on your own local computer. So if you're hooked up to the internet and you're going to save the simulation results to our database, mm -hmm. green button, which actually runs the model on our servers here, on our computer servers, and, uh, solvers, and um, saves the model to the local database. And then you just port it over to your system. This button, the, the quick run button, is um, actually uses your local computer to solve the simulation and does not store the results on the database. Mm -hmm. So this is really handy for quick things where you're varying parameters a lot and you don't really want to save all the individual results because sometimes the overhead of just sending the results back and forth takes a long time, right? Mm -hmm. But these ones uh, are solved here so you can start it running and then go off and do something else and come, come back when it's done and, and, and find the results on the server. In terms of, of, of um, running it local, uh, you know, having your own offline uh, compute solvers, um, a couple people have, have uh, installed that uh, a version of vCell to do that, but it, it means that you have to maintain everything and the interactions, so it's actually kind of complicated. Mm -hmm. The individual solvers are available on the biosimulations. Is Jan yes. there? Yeah. I think Jan's fixing REL at the moment. So, oh. uh, yeah. you, can also, you can also use the um, um, bio, run biosimulations to, to yeah. access those solvers as well. Yeah, and that's the, a command they, line interface. So you can, you can do that. Okay, great. Great, thanks. And Kapasi also now has a cloud Kapasi uh, version that you can use uh, um, our compute solvers for that as well. Pedro, I don't know if you want to say a little bit more about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually we both things. So Kopasi actually also has a command line version, which is very useful to run if you're running it on clusters or whatever, or to run scripts around it. Uh, it also has scripting languages, uh, Python and R um, and, and others, but particularly those. But uh, recently we've also created Cloud Kopasi. Now Cloud Kopasi is a special service that it's not to run every kind of simulation on a server. It's really directed to running those that are going to be very time consuming. And usually they're, uh, comp um, they're not one simulation, but very many of them. Either you're repeating something or you're doing a very large parameter scan, or you want to repeat a parameter estimation several times, um, or you want to do, we, we, this is one feature we're just adding that's not ready yet, but whether you want to do um, a profile likelihood of your parameter estimation, all of those things require very large numbers of simulations. And we have this web front end where you basically, you just upload your file and tell it, well, you want to do the, the profile likelihood or a parameter scan, and then they get shipped off to a, to a cluster and split down into many different processes. And, and hopefully you get a, a little bit of acceleration, sometimes a lot of acceleration. So 